How's it going guys? Today we're back with another FIFA 17 career mode experiment video and today we are featuring Liverpool yes the team that flopped the biggest in what more many more ways than one but that's a completely different story um, because we've got today we're bringing back as you can see the main man himself Luis Suarez the most controversial player you could probably think of in this modern age of football um, but yeah basically what we're doing is we saw the uh, yeah, success that Liverpool had back in 2009 or 10 or whenever it was when they finished runners up in the Premier League to Chelt to City that season uh, when they came so close but then that match against Chelsea turned it around when, when Jars slipped and Chelsea took the lead and then they followed that with a 3-3 draw away at Palace and the rest is history but so that was their closest time or chance to get it to, to win the league well basically since the last time they won it in 1990 so you think then that was nearly like 20 now it's close to 25 years and now 2017 you look they're not gonna win it this year so you're looking it will be 27 years roughly since the last time Liverpool won the league title. They've never won the Premier League. The last time they won it, it was the first division. <coughs> so today, when we're doing this one season challenge and seeing if Luis Suarez, built in with the team around him, can actually go ahead and finally win their first league title in 27 years. Obviously to do that, We've got Suarez, as you see, at striker. And he has got a fed. Looking at this team, it looks fairly solid. I mean, the attack, Coutinho and Mane, left and right wing, very good mid wingers, very quick. Coutinho, probably one of the best in the league in his position. Mane, just a total pace whore. Um, you've got Henderson, he's there, yeah, about. he's average. Right? He has good games, he has bad games. He's not one you'd describe as the best, but he does a lot of work you don't really see in a way. Um, Matip, very solid defender for Liverpool. You could tell they really missed him when he was out injured. Klein's got a lot of promise for a youngster in their right back. Milner, the, the centre, left mid, centre mid, converted to left back. He was playing right there that season. Obviously, the bench have got Firmino, Storage, and all them. So that's the team looked at. What we're going to do is go straight out, and if you've watched any of my other previous Kuro videos or the Kuro experiments, you'll know that the way we sort of do it is we go ahead and sim up to January to see how we're doing in the cup competitions and everything like that, and then we sim ahead to the 1st of June to see how we are doing or how we finished. So, to do that, we're doing We'll do, carry on doing in the exact same fashion as we always do and go straight ahead to January and into that date. Okay guys, so we're now in the 1st of June. Everything has finally been settled. Nice to see their last 4-0 victory to close the season. So yeah. That's it, the 2016-17 season, season is officially over, dead and buried. Um, not much else to say apart from that. So let's just get into the business end <coughs> and see whereabouts we finished. First of all, time to check on the man Louis Suarez, just to see how much he was involved in. As you see there, in the first, and a half, first and part of the season he was used an awful lot. In the end, it turns out he only missed about seven or so games. Yeah, about yeah, about seven games, seven games or so. But so that's not too bad. Um, he scored a total of nine goals for the season, four assists. It's not really what we were expecting from him. Would have thought he would have given you a lot, an incredible, a lot better, amount better, but. That is that. 
Um, so we're just going to have a look, as always, at the player stats, just to see how well we've done. Um, Coutinho there, made it into the top scorers list for the season. He is done in 6th with 13. Stoke Shakiri finished joint with Martial with 18. Chelsea's two main men finished on 14. And Ibrahimovic got 13 to complete the top 5. Let's see if any of our other players managed to get in. Suarez there with Liverpool with 9 goals, even 19. Do, 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 and that's it. Now time for assists. Martial won that with 14. Kane there got 11. Coutinho there with 8. So we've had a good season for us. And, do, 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 do. and that's it. Clean sheets, where do we stand? Carrius is there with 9. No, 10. Sorry, I looked at quarter. Carrius is there with 10 clean sheets in the top 5. Check won it with 13. Oh, Drew joint first with Bravo, who also had 13. But then there were 12, showing he's still the most overpowered keeper in the game. Just like anything else. Ultimate team, if you haven't already got him, use him. He's the cheapest, one of the cheapest Premier League goalkeepers to get. And he is by far one of the best. That's my recommendation for you. Mindelay stayed with three. Whether he played any more games after January, we don't know. So that's players that's looked at. Now, just go in, look at league tables. And we did it, guys. We didn't manage to win the league or get in, or even get into top five, but, but for the position we were in in January, we did all right to manage to get to top six. Um, we finished with eight plus 18 goal difference. Scored 55 in the end, you can see 37. Finished with 65 points. So we still finished 20... Oh, we yeah, we finished 21 points behind Arsenal, who won the league. Um, pretty comfortably by the look of it. 7 points. 7 points in it, between them and Chelsea. United there finished 13 points behind. So they pretty, they won it pretty comfortably. Stoke dropped under fourth. Um, Watford dropped completely out of it. They're in ninth with 56. Man City nowhere near. With thir in th in there with 31 at eighth or 61 in eighth even. Um, let's just see how the relegation zone looks like. Okay, so Southampton managed to escape the initial initial danger. They finished eleventh after uh, top being 18th place in January. Burnley and Hull are relegated along with Bournemouth, who are a surprise package in there. Sunderland, as they do best, managed to complete the escape and survive relegation. Well, Swansea only just surviving relegate on goal difference. So there's a there's five goals in who got relegated in them two positions. That's unfortunate, for Bournemouth. But life goes on. So guys, the disappointing thing is we haven't won a league. Yeah, so clearly that didn't, maybe the start of the season when they didn't use Swells as much as we saw, maybe that hasn't had a, yeah, has had an impact on their season. After the after finishing with 22 points, there was no way they were going to finish. Probably going to win the league at that point, which we said and we saw. But nevertheless, let's, we carry on and look at the FA Cup, which has been won by Manchester United. Sort of a carbon copy of this season's EFL Cup. Uh, United won 3 0 against that as Southampton miss. But when it turned out, we actually, as I was happy about, Man United won 3 2 on the day in the EFL Cup against Southampton. Ebro coming back as he does on saves United. But to be fair, we did alright. The MFC FA Cup, we got to the quarter final stage and we got knocked out by Southampton on penalties. So we did, we did alright, to be fair, we did well. Um, not, we didn't win it, unfortunately, but that's how it is. And obviously, we didn't win the EFL Cup either. So unfortunately, that leaves us in this position where, once again, Liverpool have failed to win the league or any cup competition, pretty much which has been, in a way, exactly what they've been like for the whole of... Well, well, probably the last good 20 odd years they haven't been winning much they might win the old com cup competition Champions League final they've done that 
what, one couple of times in the last 20 years. So, I mean, they do what Liverpool do. They either get there, they flop, or they win a cup and don't kick off from it. They always seem to win something one year and don't do much the next. But that is the way Liverpool are at the minute. Maybe one day they'll get back to their old glory days, start challenging for titles again. Um, but yeah, then by far the team they they were when Fergie came and United started start their decade of dominance or twenty odd years of dominance, I should say, with all the league title, thirteen league titles Fergie won, and everything else that came with it. And Chelsea now obviously kicked on. They're now starting to win again. Arsenal, I just Arsenal. Um, <clears throat> can't remember the last time they won a the league title. But then again, Arsenal Wenger managed to take Arsenal about nine, ten years without winning a trophy. Um, but yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Obviously, we didn't. It's a bit disappointing we didn't win anything. But that's how it works in some in some days. Um, but yeah. So after that, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, as always, be a massive legend and hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to this channel and you want to see more. And just to make sure you never miss an upload, please do hit that notification button down below. So with that said, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.